at 10.15. And apparently there was a massive queue. What time did she ring? Uh, the quarter to one. That means she's been hanging around for over two and a half hours. It's not good enough. Mm. That's the NHS for you. Mm. That's the NHS for you. <laughs> You're not concerned, Dr. Cartwright. Well, you know the answer. Go privately. That is not the answer. People like Mrs. Burton can't go privately. Actually, I was thinking of Madeline. Here we are, Dr. Latimer. Oh, Ah! <laughs> Any chance of a biscuit? <laughs> oh, I can't find Mrs. Kennedy's notes anywhere. Oh. Hello? Oh, yeah, put her through. Madeline. Ah, what if Pamela knows where they are? Hello, darling. Not still waiting, are you? Oh, good. Is everything all right? Yes, they're very pleased with me. My blood pressure's fine. I haven't put on too much weight. Actually, I was very lucky. I'd still be waiting now if I hadn't bumped into Toby. How do you mean? Well, he was here for a meeting, so he pulled a few strings so I was able to jump the queue. <laughs> Your pa should be back pretty soon. He's been at St. Winifred's all morning, attending a meeting on wastage within the NHS, followed by lunch. <laughs> He's sitting on the standing committee. Sounds like a contradiction in terms. Sorry? Well, sitting on the standing committee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do sit down. Right. Actually, I'm rather pleased he's not here yet. I was late back from lunch and I thought I might get a rollicking. Oh. You know, I haven't been in this room for years. I've forgotten how beautiful it is. Isn't it exquisite? The proportions are so perfect. Mm. Of course, surroundings are terribly important, aren't they? Especially when people are paying. If one's going to sit in some squalid little surgery, one may as well go to any Tom, Dick or Harry. <laughs> so, perhaps I should just say Dick or Harry in this case. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea while you're waiting? Oh, that would be lovely. Thanks. <clears throat> Earl Grey, Lapsang or Indian? <laughs> Indian, please. Darjeeling, is that OK? No, oh, that's, that's fine. <laughs> oh, milk or lemon? Oh, uh, milk, please. Ah, there he is. You've got a visitor, Dr. Latimer. Oh, thank you, Felicity. Tom, what a lovely surprise. Oh. I can't remember the last time you called in. Well, I had to go to Foyles to get a couple of books. As I wanted to have a word with you, I thought I'd drop by. Great. I wish you'd do it more often. Well, I tried to call, but there was no, um... I, 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 there was no phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting Tom some tea. Can I get you anything, Dr. Latimer? Mm, some coffee, please, Felicity. Decaf or ordinary? <laughs> or would you prefer to wait while I perk some through? No, no, no. Ordinary will do. Thank you. <laughs> Tom, sit down. Oh, thanks, Dad. Make yourself at home. I saw Madeline at St. Winifred's. Yes, I, I know. That's, that's why I've come to see you. I want to thank you for helping her jump the queue. Ah. Yeah, and, Dad, um, please don't do it again. Why not? Well, I don't think it right that Madeline should have preferential treatment just because she knows someone at the hospital. Well, why shouldn't I help her? She is my daughter-in-law. Uh, precisely that, because she is your daughter-in-law. See, if Madeline jumps the queue, it means that someone who should have been seen before her wasn't. And I don't think that's fair. I don't like it. Well, then you ought to pay for her to go privately. No. <laughs> well, then let me. Uh, no, Dad, look, I'm not getting into all that. You know, you know how I feel about it. And my views are not going to change just because it's my wife that's pregnant. Sorry to interrupt, Dr. Latimer, but I've got Lord Livermore on the phone. He's a little confused. Apparently, you prescribed three ointments, and he can't remember which is to be applied in the morning, which in the evening, and which is for after bathing. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, you better punch up his notes. Really, you'd think a peer of the realm would be able to follow some simple instructions. Hmm. Ah, here we are. That's very efficient. Hmm. Instant reference at the push of a button. It's fantastic. What kind of computer system have you got? It's called a filing cabinet. <laughs> Gosh, how quaint. <laughs> Tea and coffee coming up. Have you uh, talked to your mother today? Why, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. No, I just wondered whether she'd given you the good news. No? What about? Well, I've been thinking about that little lecture you gave me yesterday after my... Somewhat gauche remark. Well, I've decided to spend more time with her. I'm going to retire. 
Well, for the moment, semi-retire. Dad, I thought you were semi-retired. You spent half your time on the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, starting in a fortnight, I shall come in here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays only, and I shall devote the rest of the week to your mother. Dad, that's terrific. You know, I really do think you've done the right thing. I, I, I bet Mum was thrilled. Oh, she was ecstatic. <laughs> Biscuits. Now, do you like your milk in first? Um, yes, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Charles, I'm so pleased. It's a hell of a gesture my dad's making. He's always put his career above everything else. That's not such a bad thing. Oh, sure, but what my mum's going to really appreciate is that he's putting her first for once. Is she pleased? Ecstatic, apparently. <laughs> oh, I can't find Mr. Davenport's notes now. You know, my father's got everything on computer. Oh, those things terrify me. I mean, our system is absolutely foolproof. <laughs> Just takes a long time when things get lost. <laughs> I wonder what Toby's going to do with his rooms on the days he's not using them. Oh, I don't know. Sublet them, I suppose. There'll be plenty of takers in Harley Street. Mm. I wonder if Pamela knows where they are. Oh, Lord. I wonder what she wants now. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mum. I'm not disturbing you, am I? No, no, what on earth are you doing here? Well, Helen invited me to tea. Have you yeah, got a mum, minute? Mum, Mum, I, I, I do wish you wouldn't be quite so friendly with my ex-wife. Hmm? Oh, don't be so childish. Now, listen, Tom, I want to tell you something. I know, I know. I, I saw Dad this afternoon. Mm, isn't it terrific? No, it is not. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> you kind of have to persuade him to change his mind. It's a recipe for disaster. I tell him, and I don't want to hurt his feelings. But, Mum... Now, look, go and see him this evening, would you? While I'm at night school. Tell him he's got to think about his, his career, his patience. Tell him anything, but be sure to nip the whole idea in the bud. Mum... Oh, and I... don't tell him I've spoken to you. But, Mum, I thought you'd be pleased. Are you kidding? We're just getting along nicely. Having your father around for an extra two days a week would drive me bonkers. <laughs> well, this is nice. Twice in the same day. <laughs> your mother's out, I'm afraid. Is she? Night school. Oh. Well, it's probably a good thing because I, I rather wanted to have a word with you on your own. Oh? 